Hi, I'm Brian Toss, Brian Toss Yacht Riggers. Welcome to our loft here in Port Townsend, Washington. I'm here today to show you how we splice wire rope. This is a fairly rare skill these days. Mechanical terminals have pretty much taken over the business. But a splice is still a great field expedient. You could be miles from the machine or the hardware to make a mechanical terminal. You can still attach the wire to something and pull as hard as you need to without worrying about it breaking. Another is sometimes it's just historically required. If you're working in traditional vessels, for instance, a splice is, could be the only way to go to put an acceptable terminal on the end of the wire of a standing rigging of a, of a sailing ship, for instance. In industrial applications, sometimes a splice is preferable because mechanical terminals have hard edges. They snag on things, they fatigue and break. A splice can be better. It's only going to be better in all of those applications if it is maximally strong. And you get it strong by starting with a really good basic geography and then learning how to massage and convince the wire to go where you want it to. You cannot outmuscle something that's made of steel and multi-ton breaking strength. You have to be able to change its mind and trick it into going where you want it to go. We're going to be weaving wire into itself. And I'll be showing you lots of tricks to make that easier. But keep that in mind throughout the whole process. If you find yourself sweating and cursing, it's understandable. This isn't easy. But what you want to get to is a place where you are working with the wire, got some rhythm with it, and not trying to force it to go anywhere. Then you are gratified when it goes where, it, where you want it to go, and it seems happy there.